Okay, so today we're going to create an integrated shrink, thermal shrink holder that has an integrated collet. This is a ISCAR tool and uh, it's made for ER series collet holders for live tool lathes. So you can see here uh, what it looks like and uh, some of the dimensions for this. This one in particular is ER32 and uh, you know they come in different sizes. Uh, the one here on the screen is a three millimeter by 85 millimeters long. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the CAD model imported into a spree and I should mention that I got this CAD model from the machining cloud which is machiningcloud.com and if you install their app you can get access to a number of different products so that's where I got this particular solid so looking at it from a top view we can see that this is the way that it comes into Esprit and if I go to a front view here hitting F4 on my keyboard we can see that if you have followed along on any of the other tutorials the first thing that we want to do is orient uh, the model the correct way and position it so here we can see that uh, for tool holders we want the blue Z vector going up into the holder so this is correct you know it's centered about the bore it's pointed in the right direction. Uh, however, we want to take a look at the positioning because the zero point for this is at the back side of the collet. So when we're creating tool holders in Esprit, in all the tutorials, we are typically referencing the front face of like an ER collet nut because that is the position that we're concerned with for the tool so to get our you know proper overhang value or stick out or whatever you want to call it uh, we're always setting that zero point for the tool adapter position TA or the holder adapter position the HA those are created at the face of the of the ER collet nut which would also be at the face here of the collet so we want to and you know honestly there's a little blend here so I'm not sure if it should be right at this face or maybe at the end of the taper I know collet nuts have their taper to the front there so it might be we might want to set it either to this face or this one here to this blend uh, so definitely something to uh, check out there uh, when you actually assemble this so here we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just set it to this um, to the uh, the end of this taper here because I'm thinking in my head that uh, I'm uh, sorry to the face here not the taper I'm thinking in my head that the collet nut might have a little step in it so it doesn't come to a sharp point and uh, we'll just set it so that the this face lines up with the front of the collet nut so we need to basically move the zero point to that location and what we can do here is go to an F4 a front location and I'm gonna go to a clear view and then uh, you can see the whole holder I'm just gonna kinda zoom in on this area here I'm gonna go to manipulation and say move the origin and I want to move my mouse and you can see that it's highlighting these two centers this is the one that's right at the end of the taper this is the one that's at that small uh, face I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that's highlighted with the little circle with the X in it showing that I am going to digitize the center of that circle and when I do that my model moves to the new uh, moves the zero point to the new point um, so we are now located I believe where we want to be if I go back to uh, shaded mode uh, you can see here that uh, the zero point is there 
I'll go to an, uh, an F4 view and we can see that that point is at the end of that little blend. So I think that we're positioned correctly. So the next thing that I want to do is, because this is a tool holder, I want to have a location for my tool itself. So uh, this is a three millimeter. Um, it is probably, you know, not going to be holding another like shrink uh, extension or anything. So we just need a TA here at the front. So what I'm going to do is come here to my modify work plane command, which is the first one. So if you move your mouse over this and then come to this little arrow at the bottom right and click on that, you'll have all your different commands. I'm going to pick this top one called modify work plane. And then I'm going to, you can see that when I move my mouse around the UVW, it highlights different things. I'm going to move my mouse on top of the Z axis. And when I do that, the UVW will slide along the Z axis for me and I'm just going to highlight this front uh, face, the center there, and then I'm going to come up and create a TA position, TA underscore one. And I'm just going to click away, make sure nothing is grouped, and then uh, what we can do is go ahead and save this out. So we'll come to File, Save As, and we're going to come down here to Holder Files. I'm going to say, uh, here's my name, and then under data, uh, this is going to be under holders, and then ISCAR, and I have this under shrink ER collet integrated. So I'm just going to go ahead and say save, and that will add it to my list. So now uh, let's go ahead and open up a file and see how we can add this to an existing file to build a tool assembly. So here I have a file with a machine and I can go to tool assemblies. Tool assemblies, you can view tool assemblies if you don't have this tab on the home all the way here at the end to the show, hide, hit the little arrow and then you can pick your different stuff right here as tool assemblies. So go to tool, assemb <clears throat> go to tool assemblies on your machine and then I'm just going to go ahead to uh, station 9 here, create a new station. I'm going to right click and say add an adaptive item. And I'm going to go to holders, uh, WTO, and then this is a Nakamura machine. Probably going to be a 55 millimeter. Let's see, we got some radials. Here we go. This one, we we'll load up that holder. And now, I'm going to right click on that and actually add the adaptive item that we just created to that holder. So you can stack the adaptive items modularly just like in real life. And we'll come to holders and then ISCAR. And here I save this in thermal shrink. And then this was the uh, ER32 3 by 85. And you can see there it is. Uh, this might be a little bit long for this particular machine. Uh, but you can see the location that this appears is flush with the face of that collet nut. So there you have it right there where the uh, the proof is in the pudding when you load it in. So at this point now, you know, and if I wanted to put in like a negative, I'll just put in a negative two to show. So there it is, uh, zeroing this back out. So you can shift things if you did make a mistake. Obviously, you want to put in the correct uh, things to begin with. But at this point now, we can right click and say add a milling tool. And if we wanted to, let's say add an end mill, we can come here to, uh, this was a three millimeter, and change my diameter from 12 to three. And you can see now that my tool is going to appear there at the uh, at the proper location on the face. So looking at this, we're uh, we're very easily able to create tool assemblies for you know these shrink fit type collet holders. Just make sure that you set your reference position to the correct location. And on something like this, we're going to want to set that zero point 
where it's going to be loaded on the other adaptive item. So there you have it. Um, hopefully this helps you create more accurate digital twins so you can send better code to the shop floor.